Hello creative weirdos, welcome! We're doing Mr. Kate Decorates on a budget and I'm so excited about this room because this is something that you guys have been asking for for a while. It is a studio on a budget. And so today we're doing Brittany. She's 21, she works as a waitress. She lives in a studio apartment and has a lot of stuff but doesn't really have any cohesive design or color palette. And we have $300 but I don't know if we're gonna need to use all of this because she has so much stuff. It's gonna be more about like reworking and giving her some flow and a color palette and all of that. But let's set the timer because we only have one day to do this. And let's go see Brittany. Knock, knock. I'm Mr. Kate. Oh, hey, you don't even hey, need the introduction. Hey, you already know who hey, this hey, is. I'm Mr. Kate. I'm here. I'll take a look at your place. I'll stop by for a while and help you find your stuff. We'll walk and we'll paint Mr. Kate. Oh, I'm Mr. Kate. Okay, Brittany, you have a lot of stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and you have a lot of hair and it's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You're naturally curly, right? Yeah, this is how it comes out of my head. Oh my god, me too. I mean, it's hiding today, but mm -hmm. we're curly girls. We're curly girls and we also have something else that is a, very much alike and that is we love stuff. Yes. When I lived with my parents, I had like a like two bedrooms. I had my bedroom and then the guest bedroom to spread my stuff out in. Oh. So when I moved here, everything got condensed and just kind of thrown where it fits. Got it. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, a studio is like three rooms. You have your office, mm -hmm. you have your living room, mm -hmm. you know, entertaining area, and you have your sleeping area. And your storage area, you have a dresser, bring yeah. clothes. It's very broken up right now, and I just want something that's like, all together, all unified, cohesive, mm -hmm. kind of makes sense and is like a little bit more grown up than what, what I have right now. Let's talk about the rest of your space. You have yeah. a closet I there. I have a wardrobe, but I still don't have enough room for like sweaters and pajamas and like random stuff like that. You like all colors? I yeah, see. I gravitate towards blue the most, but okay. I love like blue, gold, orange, and yellow are super fun too. And then you also have art. I see that you've started a gallery wall. Yeah, here. but I ended up having so much like open wall space that I spread it out everywhere. Instead of a gallery it's wall, like a you just gallery. have a gallery. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, okay. And Ponyo is your cat? Ponyo, yeah. Oh, Ponyo. Yeah. What does it mean? Uh, it means fatty in Japanese. <laughs> okay, so I think I know the plan. Okay. You have to go to work, right? Yep. Okay, yay. So that's good. You'll be away because we want this to be a surprise. Yep. And, um, so but I also have to go shopping. Oh my gosh, I have so much to do. <laughs> Oh my I God, believe in you. It's so great to meet I you. I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I need it. I need it. All right. I'm leaving. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay. She's gone. All right, so looking at this floor plan, the biggest issue is that she wants to keep the futon and the bed, which are two very sizable items in this size room. But she has this closet here, which is like kind of a little alcove. It's got the double doors. I'm thinking if we can use that as usable space in the room by maybe taking the doors off and putting the head of the bed in there, we're all of a sudden changing up the flow in here, that becomes the bed section, and then we have more room to play with the futon, becoming the couch. <gasps> Did I just say a lot? I, had, I said a lot of stuff. We got a lot to do. Let's go find Joey and go shopping. <gasps> I found me a Joey. We're back, the duo, the budget duo. The budget hungry duo. The budget what? thirsty duo. Yeah, we'd be thirsty for some budget finds. So what's unique about this space is she has a lot of stuff. I feel like the key with studio apartments is making some items multifunctional. Uh -huh. So sometimes like a bed can also be a couch, but she likes having a bed and a futon couch because she has friends come and stay over all the time. So I'm thinking we need to make her desk her vanity mm -hmm. by putting a mirror above it. Gotcha. But she doesn't have a big mirror, so we need a big mirror. Okay. We need curtains. She yeah. has awesome windows in there. I think that'll really bring the eye up. Yay. And I think we get her some new bedding. How do you feel about reworking a bookshelf that is currently standing tall and vertical? I wanna turn it on its side and make it a long, low bookshelf. That means that you need to work it so that the shelves, instead of going this way when it's flipped, go this way. 
I can do that. Yay, that was the answer I was hoping for. So basically we're not getting anything big, it's just all about the flow. It's all about the flow, it's all about the floor plan, and it's all about unifying those items that she has with a color palette, so it's all about paint. Can you better flow us out of this? Goodwill, here I come. You got the will, I got the way. I got the budget, I'm gonna slay. I need to find some crap and make it cool. We gotta paint and then find a pool. Find the pool! <laughs> We're going swimming! Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Honey. No, not that kind of Honey, Kate. The free browser extension that saves you money, Honey. Ah, oh yeah, that Honey. A big key when shopping home decor on a budget is always making sure you're getting the best deal, which is where Honey comes in. It's fast and easy to add to your browser and only takes two clicks to join. It scans and tests millions of coupon codes all over the internet to make sure you're getting the biggest discount on your purchase. For example, I was recently shopping online for candles to go in a cozy room design and I saved 10% just like that using Honey to automatically find me the best coupon code. There really is no reason not to add Honey to your browser. It's free. It saves you a ton of cash on everything you're going to buy anyways. If you're not using Honey when you shop, you're missing out on free money. Join Honey today for free by clicking the link in the description below or going to joinhoney.com backslash Mr. Kate. That's joinhoney.com backslash Mr. Kate. And now let's get back to the video, honey. guys know that I think the only way we're going to free up some space in there and create areas in that studio is to put the bed into that alcove. So I think we should really anchor that area with a darker paint. All right, so the colors I have here, I want to do a dark blue for her alcove. Yep. And then we'll also use the leftover for the bookshelf. Okay. Okay. This one's more sophisticated, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Midnight Sky has a nice smokiness to it. And then I, for her dresser, which is now white, we want to give it a sophisticated color. Grand Boulevard? I think so. You sure you want to let her in there? Okay, so we have our two beautiful colors here. I think we do metallic gold. And then I like the idea of doing like a an opposite color. I think the yellow with this blue will be orange chair, the vintage orange chair she loves so much. Yep. So let's not forget there is going to be that presence of orange. So I feel like the yellow is the nice in-between color. Goodwill, I love you, I love you. That's nice, right? A little more modern in shape. I want to go into the clothing section because I have an idea. Okay. So you know she has that vanity stool. No. Okay, well, she has a vanity <laughs> stool and it's covered with like kind of a faded fabric right now. Uh -huh. I'm thinking we could recover it. And it's on a big stool, so we could use like a dress. Wow. I know. This is pretty. <laughs> no, I like the other one better. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay, wait. I see something reflective. Hmm. What if we spray paint on this gold? Uh, is it the right size? Keep it as an option. Yep. That option number one. I want to get frames. So she kind of attempted to do a gallery wall, but she didn't like fully commit to it. We're gonna fully commit to it with her. So we need some more frames so I can do some more DIY art to add to what she already has. That one's in good shape. Yes, this one. Yes, yes, this one. So these. Okay. And then. Maybe a smaller one in case, I don't know. I feel like they're reorganizing here. I feel like I'm gonna find I mean, we're finding all treasure. of the bells and whistles. Oh. <laughs> Actual bells, guys. <laughs> oh, Jesus, it's really hard to find stuff in here. <laughs> all right, well, I'm not hating this. Oh my geisha, you really <laughs> know how to. <laughs> Cause I do think, Vases. Like, I would like to do some fresh flowers for her on her table. I yeah, I mean, to be honest, for the record, I don't think that we really need to get her some fake flowers. You know, if you keep making dumb jokes, I'm gonna go for the jugular. <laughs> That's cute with the more look, look, with the more ornate frames, right? Mm -hmm. I want something else round for this. So we have like the clock and then maybe something like oval or round. Oh! <laughs> Looks like a lid. 
But how cool, it's like a little gold mirror if we put it on the wall mm -hmm. with a little screw. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Okay guys, so All right. we've got our paint, we've got our spray paint. And so next up we are going to go to like Home Goods or Ikea or something to get bedding and curtains and curtain rods. And then like we're well, pretty much, that's it. Good job. Good job. It's already so spacious with the bed out of here. So the bed's going inside that. Okay, yeah, so our only option, I think, to like make it feel more open, designate areas in here, because this is a studio, we do futon slash couch there. Keeping the futon. Keeping the futon. She loves this round ottoman, one of her favorite pieces in here. So curtains, curtains, TV, TV here. Not Murphy bedding. Gallery wall above the futon. No, not no Murphy bed because we don't have the budget, we don't have the supplies, we don't have the time. Also, I don't think that she wants to have to pull her bed down. But like it's kind of like a single closet because the bed's gonna, the head of the bed's gonna go in. Yeah, there. it's like a little alcove. And I have a DIY plan for above there. I want to do gallery wall above the futon, so we're gonna use some of her art that she already has from her sister. Gallery. Oh, and then her vintage chair here. So first things first. Get yeah, this about paint. This paint has to dry. And also we have to paint the dresser. Yeah. Oh, and you have to do the bookshelf. Yeah. Because the bookshelf is okay, gonna go Okay, let's get going. Here. Let's go, okay. there's a lot I gotta do. Joey, sushi! Ah! Oh my gosh, it's a tiny piece of sushi. <gasps> Reupholstery time! So guys, she has this little stool here that goes with her vanity. It has seen lots of butts, and I think maybe some cat scratching. And I think it will be really fun to reupholster this. And what is key about being able to easily reupholster something is the ability to remove the cushion, which I already obviously unscrewed. Usually you can flip it over and then just see if there's screws attaching the cushion to the base, which there are. That way you can set it aside and reupholster just the cushion. So. I'm just gonna go straight over this fabric that's already here. It's already got the padding and the batting. There's no point in me taking this off just to cover it up again. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a great spot on this dress. There are some seams in here, so I just wanna make sure that those are lining up okay. So I might actually do it this way. So now I know how I want it positioned. I'm just going to staple on to the bottom. The key with reupholstering something flat like this is just making sure that it's nice and taut, but not too taut that it puckers. So I usually do opposite sides to make sure that it's nice and secure on one edge, and then I do opposite sides on the other edge, and then I work around to the corners, and then of course I'm gonna need to trim all this excess. Bippity bop. Woohoo! Look how cute, guys. And then when I fasten it back on here, <gasps> a new revamp upcycled stool for your butt. dresser here and I have the bookshelf here. So the plan is to bring them into the space again in a new different way. This dresser is in great shape. The paint job, however, could use some sprucing up, which is why we have our beautiful blue color that we picked out together. And I have her bookshelf here, which obviously is a vertical bookshelf, but the plan is to turn it on its side so that it becomes horizontal, which will be much better for the space instead of one random bookshelf sticking up in there. The problem is the shelves are going the wrong way, so Joey is going to have to work his construction magic. But I'm gonna get to painting because I don't know how many coats we're gonna need to do. Look at these handles. They are actually really cool, kind of distressed handles, which is totally her style, so 
I'm going to leave these white. I think it'll be really pretty. So I just need to remove these, take the drawers out, paint the color. Let's see how it looks, guys. Hey, how's it going? That looks good. Oh, are you done with the alcove painting? It's just very small alcove. <laughs> Do you want me to take this stuff over? Yes. Okay, so are you clear about what's happening with this? Yeah. You're gonna go. I have art projects to do. I want to paint that mirror. I have a whole gallery wall to build. There you go. Great. Do a great job. Like you always, always do. do. And fortunately, Brittany has us starting out pretty well because she has things like this awesome piece of art that her, I think that was her sister who painted this. We are going to build around this and obviously we have our predominant blue here, some green and yellow and orange. Those are our colors, guys. Yay, thank you, art piece. We also have our other things on hand from the thrift store. We have our clock that's bringing in a little bit more of a modern feel, but a nice round shape. We have this golden disc that we're just gonna call a little mini golden mirror that Joey found. And then I wanna do a quote because I noticed she has a couple of quotes in her bathroom and in her kitchen. So I wanna bring in the element of text because that will give it a more updated feel. So we have like the vintage artwork next to that, a more modern quote. So the other thing that she had is this really cute painting of Ponyo, her cat. But I just think that this isn't a big enough frame for this amazing fat cat. So I was thinking it could be kind of cool if we took this painting that we got from the thrift store, which is open, there's no glass here, and took out this canvas and put it on here, kind of creating modern art with the still life of the flowers behind Ponyo just kind of sticking out. I think it'll look cool and very collage -y and very kind of found object, flea market meets chicness vibe that we're going for. How cute. Such an easy fix. And look, Ponyo frolicking amongst the flowers. How cute. Let's take this old frame that used to house Ponyo and put some cork in it. So that way it just becomes a little mini cork board. She could like pin up another quote or pin up one of her Polaroid pictures. Fits perfectly. And it's really nice and thick, so I don't now need the backing for the frame. You just basically use the little tabs that were there before holding the backing in. So last, let's do in this black frame from the thrift store, a quote. And I wanna do a quote about dreams because I noticed she had one about dreaming in her kitchen, so I'm going off theme. So I'm gonna use a pencil to just line out where I want the quote before I commit with my pen. And then I'm using my favorite brush pen, you guys. This is the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. I've used it for years now to get that kind of brushy look. It's very imperfect, which I like, because I am not a calligraphy artist by any means. We are going to DIY with some spray paint and I've got a lot of items in front of me. All of these things are hers. This mirror is the mirror that we found at the Goodwill. So I want to unify all of these items because as you can see right now, 
they're not really telling a story. There isn't really a cohesive color palette. And that is really what is going to make that room feel like it's decorated and designed and there's a point of view in there. So we're gonna use these knickknacks to further reinforce our color palette. Oh my gosh, goodbye ugly thrift store mirror. Hello, glam. Woo! See, anything with like a detail on it like this, sprayed all gold, looks so cool. <laughs> you wanna stay about six to 10 inches away from the object that you're spray painting, because if you get too close, it's gonna get drippy, and that's not the look we're going for, and it's also really hard to clean up. Kind of looks cool, like partially painted. Oh, she has so many cute pictures. Okay, so Brittany is a big fan of these little mini and stacks Polaroids as I am as well, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are. And I feel like this, our nighttime sky above the bed is the perfect place to put. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Twinkle lights. So these strung up then with these clipped onto the strand is just gonna look so dreamy in there and really kind of anchor the space even more because she doesn't have a headboard and it's just gonna be so cozy and cute. So let's do it. Remember how ugly that was, you guys, just a few hours ago? And now it is the crown jewel of her new little vanity. It's so cute in here. What do you guys think? We have really opened up the space. There's room to move around now. It feels like this is the bedroom area. There's areas in here. And guess what? We only got rid of one piece of furniture, her desk. So now we're using the vanity doubled as the desk. I feel like that's a great compromise in here. And I feel like this room is so cute. It's so vintage inspired. We definitely have the essence of Britney in here, her collectibles, all of her knickknacks. But now they're like, prize possessions. I can't believe we used everything. It's pretty crazy. <sighs> Kate, I got her. You ready? You ready? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and we're gonna count to three. Imagine okay. your space before. Ready? Yep. You ready? Yeah. One, One two, two, three. three. Holy f <laughs> You recognize that piece? That was your was bookshelf. That bookshelf. Yeah, oh that we flipped God. over and then redid the shelving in it. You can like see out of my windows now. <laughs> There's things like off the wall. This is. Oh this my, was a pretty big solution that. to put your bed head first in here, so that way. Oh every, and, and we mounted your I can't TV. How well that. Oh yeah. my God. So now you can all swivel. watch from. Yep. So, so everyone you can, can watch from the bed, from like from the couch. Ah, holy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, and the door is <laughs> under the bed, so you know, easy storage. So oh and then the Epic one, curtains. the one compromise was the desk 
and the vanity became one. Okay. Right? Because I yeah. had to slim down something in oh order to be able gosh. to get this flow. Yeah. But I feel like it works so much better. Oh my god. I can't believe you did it. Thank you. You're it welcome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Um, yes. We did this all for under 300 bucks. Yeah. So. No way. Yeah. I mean, you, you actually because made it. Had so much you made it easy for us. Yeah. yeah, you made it easy for us because we didn't really have to get a lot of stuff. Yeah, and your walls were already painted. Joey didn't have to paint. Obviously, we oh painted in there to just make that it a little so cute. That looks so dope, cubby. and I love the twinkle lights yeah. with my pictures on them. With all your pictures, I took the pictures that were all around <laughs> around your kitchen and the, on the frames, and then just made them oh, one epic. I can't believe how well this works too. Like, it's yeah. such a good solution because like the bed was like the entire corner. I now. know, I know. And so you still have your big bed, but now you have the space to move around and fold this out, your beautiful chair is still there. You can pull that so forward cool. when you have people over, but I think it's nice to it's have really the nice. open it's area. It's really nice, it's like a nice little, oh my god. It feels like a hip New York walk. It's there. really cool, yeah. I can't believe how cool it is. The colors it's, are all working so together. Yeah. yeah. The gold curtains I are locked. I love it. I never would have thought to put any of my stuff in here like this. Aww. And I love that that's blue now and still has a cute so handles. so pretty. Yeah, it really makes the handles stand off. It's like such a beautiful vintage piece. <laughs> it's so cool. Cool. Great. I think we're done here. Thank you All guys. Right, go so get Tonya. Awesome. Yeah. I'm thank so glad you. we got to do this. So cool. Cool. I yeah. love it so much. It's amazing. Thank, thank you, you so much. Enjoy guys. it. I will. Yes. All right. We're going home All right. and getting thank dinner. Thank you guys. Yes. Kate didn't oh, get me Joey. lunch. Today. I know. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> Isn't this cool? Look how cool. I, I literally can't believe this is our place. <laughs> On. We finally did it guys. You have been asking for a studio apartment design and what better way to do it than in a day with less than $300. <laughs> I mean, look, the it was clear when we walked out of there how pulled together it was. Color palette, pieces, everything. Yeah. So guys, make sure and subscribe. We got a lot more of these coming this year and yeah. a lot of other fun things. And we want to hear from you what you want to see next. So leave a comment and let us know what you want us to do next on a budget. And, and follow us on social media because we're always posting on Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter and stuff. And it's a great way to get in touch with us as well. We got to go get dinner. We got to go get dinner. Love, Love you. you. Love you guys. Love you. Stay weird, stay wonderful, stay creative. Mwah. Bye. Bye. Where I do my upper body. And then over here it's feet, 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 legs, legs, feet, feet, feet. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>